Let's talk about fluid. How many percent of your body weight is fluid? The answer is 60%. 60% of our body weight is fluid. So if you weigh 100 pounds, then 60 pounds of your weight is fluid. But how is that fluid distributed inside the body? Well, we have to know the different compartments based on the location relative to the cell. We have what we call the compartment inside the cell and this is known as the intracellular, simply known as IC. If the compartment is inside the cell, again, it's intracellular. But if the compartment is outside the cell, then this is what we call extracellular or EC. Again, if it's outside the cell, that's extracellular. The extracellular has two divisions. And what are the two divisions of extracellular? Well, the first one is what we call inside the blood vessel. And this is intravascular, simply known as IV. Again, inside the blood vessel, we call this intravascular. But another part of the extracellular compartment is the one between the intravascular and intracellular. What do you call this compartment between the intravascular and intracellular? It's called interstitial or IS. So the one compartment between the blood vessel and the cell is known as the interstitial. Again, the question is, how many percent of your body weight is fluid? 60%. But how many percent of your body weight is fluid in the IC and fluid in the EC? Well, IC, IC. Think about IC, the perfect visual acuity, 20 over 20. 20 plus 20, and you get a 40. So every time that you hear the letters IC, 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 remember the number 40. So again, the percentage of fluid in the IC is 40. Therefore, the percentage of fluid in your body weight in the EC is 60 minus 40, and that's 20%. But remember, the extracellular is further subdivided into two. First, we have the one inside the blood vessel known as the intravascular, and between the blood vessel and the cell, the interstitial. How many percent of your body weight is fluid in the IV? V. V. V stands for Roman numeral number 5. So how many percent of your body weight is fluid in the IV? That's 5%. And what do you call the compartment between the blood vessel and the cell? It's called interstitial. If you're going to look very closely at the letters IS, they form like the number 15. So if you say IS, IS, that's 15%. So again, 15% of your body weight is fluid in the IS. What did you drink today? Did you drink chocolate, orange juice, coffee? Let's make an orange juice. If I were to make an orange juice and I place the orange granules into the glass of water, what will happen to the orange granules? Yes, they will settle at the bottom of the glass, but aside from that, they will spread. They will spread from an area of greater concentration to an area of lesser concentration. And what happens to the color of the water? It turns into orange. What do we call this? When there is a transfer of particles from area of greater to lesser concentration, this is what we call the word that begins with letter D. And it has two letter F's. It's something that happens when you also place coffee granules on a glass of water. Think about the word coffee. Think about the word coffee. The word is diffusion. So when diffusion happens, it means that from an area of greater concentration, the particles will move to an area of lesser concentration. So in diffusion, what moves? The particles.